once the chart's been created, we can go in and edit different elements of the chart to sort of customize it. Once the chart is inserted, if you single click on it, you get little green squares around the chart. You have to double click on it and get a solid gray line around the chart in order to go in edit mode for the chart. Once in edit mode for the chart, if you right click on the chart, <clears throat> you can see we have all kinds of choices for editing the chart. So for example, um, household budget, we can click insert title, we can change the title, or we can add a subtitle, January, February, March. Click OK. You can see January, February, March shows up. If we want to change the font for the title, click on it. Once you get the green squares with the slash lines around it, right click on it, um, position and size, is where it's located across the top. If you right click and go to format, you can see we can add a line around the title or what we most likely would do is change the font or the size. Let's say we want to increase the size and we want to make it bold. And down here is an example of what it'll look like. If we accept that and click, click OK, you can see household budget is bigger and it's bolded. Um, category, we can do the same thing if we want to increase the presence of category. We can click bold, bring it up to font 11. We can change the font color. We'll change it to green. Now we have categories in green. We can click on dollars and do the same thing. Right click, format title. Um, we'll go to font 11, font effects, color, and we'll go with, I guess, magenta. <clears throat> so you see by click clicking on an element, you can change the style of the element. For the legend, if you click on the legend, and then right click. Often what we can do with the legend is change the position. By default it shows up on the right hand side, but sometimes people will want to put the legend down at the bottom. When you put it down at the bottom you have more room across for the chart. So you can see how much space the chart takes up when the legend's at the bottom. If we click Format Legend, go to Position, and move it back to the right. You can see it kind of shrinks up the size of the chart, so I often will stick the legend at the bottom. And the other thing I'll do just to have it, um, just to have it stand out a little bit, is to put a border around it. So I'll just go for a continuous line around the legend, and you see the legend's at the bottom with a border and we have more space <clears throat> for the chart across the um, space we've allocated on the spreadsheet. The other thing we can do is change each of the data series or data points. So for example, let's say we want to change the color for March. If you put the mouse over one of the data points for March and click on it, you can see Calc selects each of the data points in the series. Right click on that, click Format Data Series. Click on Area and we can change the color. And Let's say we want to change it to this green color. I select green, I click OK, and we've changed the color of the data series March. So and we can do the same for February. We can right click, go to data series, and we would be able to change the color for February. The other thing we can do is select the data series, click 
insert data label, and you can see for February, the dollar amount is shown at the top of each column. And we'll just take that out. So we just take that out. So right-clicking, double-clicking on the chart until we get a gray line around it, and then right-clicking on the many elements allows us to customize and edit the individual features in the chart.